Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. So, I am going to talk about a new chapter here in this video, chapter 17. This is a completely unscripted video, I just want to sort my thoughts out a little bit. Um, there will obviously be spoilers in this video, so if you haven't played the new chapter yet, then please do so before watching this video. So, um, the whole chapter was super interesting. It's basically just laying down the foundations of what's to come, but we already got some glimpses about things that will come. Um, we got introduced to several, several new characters, that was super interesting. We also learned a little bit more about older characters, like this was a chapter where Ranzel was very prominent because he talked about his worries about Yuden right now because Renzel joined Yuden back then because Yuden was super focused on his goals on making Alberia a peaceful place and right now Yuden is not in a bad headspace uh, in the best headspace he lost his focus he lost his sister again and he's just taking hits after hits and so he, he kind of, I, I don't think he doubts what Yoon wants to do, but it's just like he, he, he wants someone, he wants to follow someone with a strong will, I think that's how I understand it. And he kind of kind of struggles through this whole thing, through the chapter, um, also because we also learned that he in the past did some awful things as a mercenary and he wants to make wants to make good wants to make up for that what he did by following someone who wants to make the world a better place and he apparently thought that maybe this will not be what Yuden does I guess um, kind of struggling to find the words right now so well anyway he he, he meets the people of Grams uh, let's talk about Grams real quick um, Krams is the new place that Yuden and the gang visits. It's a huge, huge city, which is governed more likely, more like from the Ilian Church than the, the royals, like we have it in Alberia. The royals are just there, <laughs> um, and we see the the, the Pope. Um, what was her name? Origa. She is after Yuden and the gang. She wants their heads, apparently, or wants to have a talk to them. Origa has an interesting design, let's just say that. Uh, I find her very interesting. She, uh, she I want to call her mommy. <laughs> um, no, but she uh, apparently has powers similar to Sethia. She appears to be an Aus Aus Auspex, or Auspex too. Um, also, she kind of looks like she's a fairy, which does make sense because if we remember from the second anniversary um, event, Forgotten Truths, that actually the, 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 the church was built up by a fairy, by a Mine. Um, so maybe she, she, she she's, has relations to Mine or something like that. Um, and I'm, t I'm not entirely sure if she's a fairy, but she, she seems to have wings, so I guess, yeah. Uh, but we don't see her too much, uh, we just see that she has someone called Graf working for her. And at the end of the chapter, we just get one line or something like that, um, where Graf talks about Harl, and he, he's giving orders to him. So apparently Harl, Harley, uh, however he's pronounced, works uh, for, for, for Grams and therefore for Origa, and that would kind of makes sense why he did all of the stuff in Alberia because I, I mean just I guess to, to steer things up and to 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 mess with the royal family but uh, but never really getting involved too much um, but yeah Krams is governed by the church and the church doesn't really seem to care about the citizens there too much they apparently only see them as things that can be exploited like there's a scene with an old man who just wants to go pray in a cathedral but he doesn't have the standing that he needs to do so so he he just gets like he, he doesn't even get kicked out he doesn't even let he isn't being let in and Renzel doesn't have any of that so he just goes in there and messes things up and then we learn that 
there is a whole nother part of the city which up until now looked like everything is wonderful and beautiful everyone lives in a in a big house it's almost like a mansion and everyone has fancy dresses but there's there's a different side of that there is a huge area of slums where people live in poverty and this whole thing reminded me like it's probably not the, the first time that uh, that stuff like that was a topic because it's a pretty pretty common topic I think. But I, th this whole thing made me think of uh, Final Fantasy fourteen in the Ishgard where the city was governed by or is governed by um, religious people, uh, a pope, and well they're up to no good. And there also are some slums and poverty is a problem there. And it's just like while I was reading it, I was like, "Wow, this is this is really like Heaven Sword." And I'm sure there's other games or movies with that topic too. But yeah, of course, the Yuden and his gang are not really happy to 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 just see the people be in agony down there. So while their 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 new buddy, um, what was his name, Gavot? I think uh, what was his name? Yeah, Gatov was his name. Um, Gatov, they meet him, they, he's the person that sent a letter to Leonidas to tell Yuden to come up here there, and Gatov wants to to help them reach the fairy kingdom, but he has other stuff to do first, so Yuden and his gang go help the citizens, they don't really want that because they don't know them. Of course something happens, Yuden helps them, and uh, has the chance to help them, meets the people, and uh, this, this is just in a side story, but it's interesting to see. And it also helps Yuden learn that he just can't go anywhere and be like, hey, I'm here to help you, uh, let me help you. And people will always accept this, no, because they don't know him, where would they where would they trust this, this random stranger who just appears out of nowhere. But yeah, after that, they, they, they meet Volk again. I, I mean, at the beginning, Volk shows up just do some blah blah blah, the week blah blah blah, uh, to Renzel, um, and then they they oh yeah I forgot about that. So they flee from the Templars who want to arrest them, bring them to the Pope. They go into an underwater water waterway underground, and there's this door, and this door is is is, is rusted and can't be opened, <laughs> and Chell is just like, well, I know what to do, and she's just pulls out a, a freaking Gatling gun and just shoots down the door. That was really funny. <laughs> she just blasts that stuff, that, that thing down. And yeah, I guess that's that's probably um, a new Gala unit in the future. Uh, get Chell, Chell with a with a gun. <laughs> so that's interesting. And after they flee through the waterway, they of course meet some Templars. They fight the Templars and then Volk appears. And it's super interesting because in this chapter we do learn a little bit about Volk's past. He apparently he was robbed of everything, as he says it in the past, and that's why he fights for the weak and wants to well take out the privileged. And this whole thing about taking out the privileged uh, actually helps Renzel realize: yes, he was born privileged. Yes, he. He he was he was teached everything by his rich father, but and he realizes yes I I don't know everything in the world it's it, I I there's a lot of things I don't know about the world but that's why he's traveling, that's why he wants to continue traveling with you and he realizes that. And that was an interesting thing to see because up until now I know it, it it's memed a lot but usually Ranzel is this is this meathead who just makes jokes or wants to eat or fight and I really really liked that they gave him some depth in this chapter. Yes we already had that in his gala story for example or back when he was the main focus before he got his gala unit and those were some interesting things but now he, he actually thinks about the future, he, he thinks about the past and he's not just this big guy who, who who who's bulky and wants to fight everyone but he also thinks about the uh, stuff and that was interesting to see and i like that they that they build and flesh out older characters like the main cast units instead of just throwing new ones at us all the time and i think this will be a trend going forward because last chapters we got um lsn who got some development and now we have Renzo. 
Um, looking at the preview of the next chapter, we will probably get some more development for Luca. And that is cool. That is really, really cool. So um, then we fight Volk. Um, that was really cool because we have like an easier version of the Masters fight, which is cool because that helps introduce players to the Master fight. Of course, on normal, the fight is pretty easy if you already have a stacked team. But I'm pretty sure this might be tough for people who do not have tier 2 Akito fight uh, weapons like I do. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. After that, and that's something that kind of felt like it was forced in. Um, he talks to... Renzel talks to Volk, they fight a little bit. Volk, um, Renzel gets overpowered and suddenly... Reborn Sephir appears? Um, apparently, pretty sure he's going to be the next Gala Dragon. And he's just he just hangs out there after beating the living crab out of Volk, let's just say it like that. And then it gets explained, <laughs> Sethia explains that, oh yes, this dragon from the Halidom, he appeared because he he he, he sensed Renzel's strong will and also he yeah Renzel has wind mana so boo, the dragon was suddenly rebo reborn showed up and helped him and then he just left yep mm -hmm, that's how it went and that was kind of I understand that they need to show us the gala dragons beforehand but I would also I would rather just not have them force this in because it felt forced in it didn't feel natural at all it was just he Sephir just appeared that was weird and I would rather just have them be like, Nick Scala, hey, look, here, here's a cool dragon. Bam. Uh, because that would be a bigger surprise. Uh, we, c we could continue to speculate. Uh, I, I don't think we need to be shown everything like weeks in advance. Um, but he looks cool. Gala Sephir, uh, Sephir, or Reborn Sephir, looks cool. So really excited to see what he can do. Um, then they just leave go to the to the to a, a forest um, they meet a new character she's called Sheila she's super super cute Ooh, there's a lot of new good-looking characters in this game now. and she can talk which is fine because apparently she's only there to guide them to the fairy kingdom and there's no need for guidance because magic suddenly they're in the fairy kingdom um, because a forest appears um, that was hidden before and then they apparently have to go through the forest and judging by the by the sneak peek of the next chapter they will arrive in a snowy region and yeah that's that's it that's that's pretty much it um, for this chapter I kind of hoped that we would get Gatov as a unit uh, as a playable unit already because he joined the gang for now I guess and of course we got shell <laughs> not too long ago so it would have been really weird and probably too too crazy if we already had gotten another story unit um, but it would have also been kind of cool you know um, so yeah overall in my opinion very good chapter um, gave us some infos about old characters introduced us to a new whole region of the world uh, of Dragon Lost um, introduces to some new cool characters. Gatov is a super interesting character who apparently also, by the way, knows Walk. So that's interesting. So maybe they have a backstory too. And I'm very eager to learn more about Gatov. Hopefully he will be a unit in the future um, so we can read his adventure story. And yeah, I'm all out of steam right now. <laughs> I talked for almost 15 minutes now. Um, so that's that's cool. I'm really excited. This is, a, this is a good chapter. Super excited to see what we can do in the future. Something that um, I, I, I need to talk about before I end this is that I'm kind of... Uh, I wouldn't say disappointed, but I kind of would have hoped that we would wrap things up with the, the old arc before we start a completely new world. Like, that's something that I really like about... Fire Emblem Heroes and it, it hurts me to say something like that <laughs> yeah, um, and I will probably only go in Fire Emblem Heroes again every time when they uh, when a book is finished because that's really nice every book is 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 uh, restricted to itself like you, act, you you could in theory play book three without having 
played book one or two. I mean, sure, you won't know every character, you won't know some relations, but that was pretty cool that the stories are done when they are done, mostly. Not everything, but mostly. And I kind of feel like we have a lot of old loose ends from the old uh, arc that we haven't wrapped up yet, like with Nethric. Who is he? What is he doing? What are the Agitos? They all have their own backstory. I know we will probably learn more about that in the future, but it kind of takes too long, you know? I, I want to I wanna be excited to learn more about the new units, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, but please finish up the stories of the old characters. Um, we haven't learned anything new about what's happening, what was happened with the other, um, with Oh, I forgot the name of the boy who sucked up the other and the, the, the brother who had the, the dragon disease. Where are they? They are just gone. Like they just vacuumed up the other and then poof, they're gone. That's something that I would have loved to resolve, be resolved before new stuff happens. And I just, and I'm sure there's more. There's probably even more stuff that we don't know yet about. And I, yeah, like I said, I kind of hope we would have resolved that stuff before we move on to new stuff, but I guess that's just how it is now. Um, that's probably the only thing that I'm not a big fan of. So, yeah, alright, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Um, actually, the only reason why I'm doing this is because, like, only a few people, like two or three people said that um, they would be interested to, to, to know what I uh, think about the new chapters. So, if you enjoyed this, um, leave a like. Um, tell me in the comments below what you think about the new chapter, um, what do you think about this kind of video. Um, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, then if you want I could do this with events too, uh, where I just talk about what I think about the stories of the events, because that's like the main thing why I play this game, the stories and the characters. Um, and if you're interested in it too, I would love to make this a thing, like when I, when I do this more often, if I have the time. Like maybe I can't do this every single time, but I would just love to to do if I can. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Um, sure, uh, very important, join the Discord, um, the link is in the description below. Um, there we can continue to talk about the new chapter if you want to. Um, there's a whole channel where we just talk about the story, um, also when new events come out, and of course other stuff. And remember to ring the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the future and in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!